Together, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Nika. You know, things have quieted down across Rhode Island and most of southeastern Massachusetts, but I'm still tracking showers, even thunderstorms this morning. And we've seen uh, one pop up here right along 95 uh, for the folks trying to head into the Providence area through Cranston as well. And we're seeing even more widespread activity off the coastline this morning. That's where the thunderstorms are located, clipping the Outer Cape, the islands, and you see another batch of showers that I'm keeping an eye on uh, over parts of Long Island and the New York City area. This batch here just sort of blossoming over the area and as it tracks up towards the east and northeast, I do think we'll see some additional showers move through Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts over at least the next few hours of the morning. So about 59 for your temperature right now in Providence. It's 58 in Newport, 60 under foggy conditions in New Bedford and 59 in Westerly. In fact, visibility is down below a mile. Providence to the coastline. Uh, some locally dense fog in spots in Westerly. Visibility is a little bit better. Hyannis right now, but uh, under a mile in Plymouth. Taking a look at the satellite and the radar, we have this uh, batch of showers for this morning. We've already picked up about a half an inch of rainfall in the Providence area, more than an inch in parts of southeastern Massachusetts. That's number one. That'll move through here early this morning. But then we have to keep it an eye on a second batch of what looks pretty harmless showers and clouds up there right now. But our computer models have a potential here for some severe weather over parts of interior New England, thinking New York, Pennsylvania, parts of Vermont, maybe even western Massachusetts. We'll keep an eye on that line for later in the day, possibly an additional shower or thunderstorm around here. I think there will be a drier stretch though in the afternoon. The morning commute, 58 to 64 for your temperatures. Future cast here shows the thicker, a heavier, more widespread showers moving out, but still a spotty shower, an isolated thunderstorm this afternoon. With that, we're going to also see breaks in the cloud cover. You see some of that developing, especially away from the coastline for the later afternoon and early evening. And then skies will clear out overnight tonight, and we're back to sunshine and the beginning of an extended dry stretch here for the end of the week and the weekend. Coastal clouds this afternoon, a little brighter inland. Temperatures at the shore will be in the 60s, will be in the low and mid-70s inland. Northwest corner of the state, you have the best chance of seeing an additional shower second half of the day. About 74 for Burrowville, 73 in Johnston with partly sunny skies. It's going to be a muggy afternoon. The humidity will remain high today. Low 70s, Fall River, New Bedford, about 73. Seekonk in the 60s in Middletown. Seven-day future cast, 74 tomorrow with sunshine. 72 on Friday, have us in the mid and upper 70s still for Saturday and Sunday. I still think the potential to hit 75 to 80 for your high on Monday. Turning partly sunny by the end of the day and then we'll bring in a chance of a shower right now for Tuesday. That's definitely not a lock at this point. It does look like the week ahead will be warmer than normal.